Finally. There you are. Hey, you didn't tell me Mosley was here. What a bizarre coincidence. Yeah. <laughs> coincidence. I'm still not quite sure how it... Hey, I uh, was just talking about the tour tomorrow. Gracie's going. Uh, are you? Actually, it would be a good chance to do some snooping around here. Besides, it sounds like a monumental snow. The treasure's got to fit into the case somehow. What people think about the treasure, sure. As for the treasure itself, it sounds like a snark hunt. Right, Mose? I don't know. Gabriel, the kidnappers were talking about the Grail. Plus, they came here. Why would they come here unless they were connected to the treasure? I didn't say they weren't connected. I'm just more interested in the suspects than digging around in the dirt. Right, Mose? I don't know. Well, I am going to figure it out. Fine. Now, could we talk about, oh, let's see, the case for a minute? What's up? I saw Madeline downstairs. She was looking for you, Mose. Really? Who's Madeline? Nobody. Nobody. I followed Prince James's men tonight. Yeah? What'd they do? First, they had a little chat with the local abbe. Accused him of taking the baby. The abbe swore the order had nothing to do with it. The order. Then they went to see Larry Chester out by Blanchford. The guy's supposed to be a British scholar, but Mallory and McDougal knocked on his door and gave him this weird freaking handshake. What kind of handshake? Let's see if I can remember it. Wow. Good eyes, bud. It's Masonic. Masonic? As in Freemasons? That's right, Grace. How do you know it's Freemasons? Oh, uh, you know, uh, as a cop, you learn things. <clears throat> yeah, like the location of all the Dunkin' Donuts in town. Am I missing something? Why would Prince James send Freemasons down here? Duh. What? Prince James is a Freemason? Well, how the hell would you know, Mr. New Orleans? Well, he, uh, he, he sent the Freemasons down here, didn't he? Well, Prince James did say he thought the kidnapping was political. Could it have something to do with the Freemasons? Hmm. If Prince James's men are Freemasons, then what about the Abbey? Who's the Order? Someone the Masons don't trust. Hmm, who's the natural enemy of the Freemasons? Dolphins? You know, I don't think that the Masons are exactly chummy with the Vatican, if you know what I mean. There you go. The Abbey is a priest. Why would the Vatican kidnap a baby? Gracie. I think you have an idealized view of the Catholic Church. I agree. There's got to be more to the Abbey than that, if Prince James men acted the way you say they acted. Hmm, maybe. I'll look into it. Hey, why don't we go down and have some dinner? Mosley was trying to talk me into it before he came back. Are you hungry? Starved. Cheer up. Between the Freemasons, the Order, and the Night Visitors, there's got to be a case in here somewhere. That's true, Gracie. Life is good. Come on, poster boy. Shut up, Nat. fingerprint kits. Gabriel's not going to have all the fun on this case.
I'm sure glad I got that laptop. New email. We don't have any files for this case yet, but as Gabriel and I find stuff, we can scan it in. Someone left us a book. There's a poem in here. The arms of Jesus are the cross of Lorraine, both the blood in the arteries and the blood in the vein, both the source of grace and the clear fountain. The arms of Satan are the cross of Lorraine and the same artery and the same vein and the same blood and the troubled fountain. Hmm. I think I'll leave the poem for Gabriel. <laughs> he looks so harmless when he's asleep, doesn't he? Don't get me started. I think I'll let him sleep. He's not going on the tour this morning anyway. Besides, he and Mosley had a few last night. <laughs> <laughs> 